was not a good idea to film this, but I decided to do it anyways. Um, throwing caution literally to the wind. Uh, today we'll be talking about superhero movies. Well, my superhero movies back in the day, uh, back in the 80s, uh, when dinosaurs roamed the land. Um, we didn't have too many superhero movies like we do today. We kind of had action heroes, and um, those were the things I grew up with. So today I'll talk about some of my, well, I'll start off with one of my favorite guys. Um, well, I used to watch a lot was Arnold Schwarzenegger. And uh, he was a professional bodybuilder who got into to movies. And um, some of my favorites would be, if you're going to look into this guy, I would go with Conan the Barbarian, which is basically based on the Robert E. Howard books, if I'm remembering the author correctly. And... Uh, it's about a about a child who's who. There's a conqueror who's um, who starts going one by one and destroying these villages, taking the children, making his armies, and Conan is one of these children. And the movie is based on him growing up and seeking revenge against this guy. So it's very sword and sorcerer, very politically incorrect nowadays. There is nudity, violence beyond belief, gore, and. Um, but back in the day, that was one of my favorite movies. It still is. I have to go back to it. Uh, I think Oliver Stone co-wrote the script, so that's pretty cool. Uh, another one of my favorites from him is obviously the Terminator movie. So Terminator 1 and 2. The first one has always been my favorite. I thought Arnold plays a fantastic, cold as ice, very little dialogue, killing machine, going after Sarah Connor who is going to give birth to the child, John Carner, who will be the leader of the resistance when man versus machine takes over when Skynet goes live. Uh, T2 is obviously pretty good as well, but Arnold plays the good guy. Um, still very phenomenal sequel, great special effects, great one-liners. But for me, it always been the mistake that Arnold is the good guy now. I think that was a mistake in the series. He should remain the bad guy. He's big and badass and should remain that way. Another favorite would be Predator. Part horror movie, part action movie. Great one-liners, great. A lot of good uh, actors in there like Carl Weathers, Jesse the Body Ventura, a whole bunch of guys. Shane Black who co-wrote the other um, movies as well. Um, stars in it. Uh, what else did I like? Commando, where Arnold Schwarzenegger has about uh, 12 hours to rescue his da his kidnapped daughter, who's played by uh, Alessia Milano, if I'm saying her name right, who used to be part of Who's the Boss, and um, Charmed. Great get action movie, a lot of one-liners in there too. Uh, Total Recall, great special effects on that movie at the time. Uh, interesting concept about, you know, memories, uh, how they're being manipulated. Uh, but I thought that was great that he's going in, he's always having dreams about Mars and suddenly he goes to recall, they think they're adding memories but they remove them and he finds out he's actually a bad guy and people are trying to kill him. Interesting concept. Another one is The Last Stand, one of his newer releases after he got out of politics where he plays a small town sheriff trying to stop a Mexican drug lord from sneaking over to Mexico and he has to go through his town to do it. Um, very lighthearted, very uh, 80s, old, throwback to the school, uh, sorry, throwback to old school action movies with some, some, some good one-liners in there too. Arno's a little rusty, tiny bit, but he's still great in it. I like that movie a lot. Um, what else, who else, what else I like from our Schwarzenegger? Um, Eraser was not bad. Not his best, but not bad either. Um, so yeah, so if you're looking for action movies and action icons to replace your superhero movies, you can't go wrong with Arnie. Um, you know, oh yeah, True Lies, sorry about that. Another James Cameron directed movie where Arnold plays like a sort of a super spy who at one point thinks his wife, Jamie Lee Curtis, is having an affair, so he uses everything in his arsenal to figure out what's happening. And at the same time, he's trying to stop a terrorist. So it's pretty interesting, pretty funny. It's got, you know, part comedy, part action. Everything you kind of like from a Schwarzenegger movie. Um, I think that's it from him. Uh, but we'll get back to, if I come back tomorrow. Oh, I'll throw this one in there. 
you let me know. The Last Action Hero. I'm saying that is a guilty pleasure. Uh, it bombed at the box office, but it's a great satire on um, action movies. So uh, give him a look, and uh, you know what? Let us know what you think, and uh, give me your best or your favorite Arnie movies, and uh, we'll compare notes. So uh, if you can, we thank you for your support. Hit the like button, subscribe to us. We'd love to hear from you. And this is Stephen from the Roundtable telling you the usual. Live the dream.